don't make excuses when it comes to homeschooling now if you are choosing homeschooling as an option for you and your child you have to make sure that you stick to it when it's time for you to get started with lessons don't make excuses on why you can't make the necessary time that's needed to get those lessons done for instance, if you feel like you need a curriculum and you've been doing everything on your own solo, you've been choosing what your child is going to do, you may need to reach out and try to find a curriculum. Now, if you're looking for a curriculum and you're not in any type of Facebook group, you may want to go on to Google. You can do a Google search or you can go on to YouTube and do a YouTube search and there are so many curriculums out there now if you go the umbrella school route a lot of umbrella schools can point you in the direction that's needed for you to get the curriculum that's necessary now you have to think of things like this the more excuses you make it will start to rub off on your child and the more excuses they will make when you feel like it's time to do things, they will start making excuses on why they don't feel like it. Now, I know it's a lot of different methods out there when it comes to homeschooling. Um, it's unschooling and different things like that. But you want to make sure that you stay on task and you have a good, you have a good, healthy way of teaching your kiddos or your student you have to always be positive when it comes to getting things done because your kids are watching now it's always helpful for me to make a plan for the week or the month and stick to it now it's always good if you can get your calendar your planner your google calendar and mark off all doctor's appointments and to mark off any times where you feel like you need to go out of the house and do something run errands and make sure you schedule enough time around it so you won't be in such a time crunch trying to get things done because homeschooling is not to stress you out it's to help you to free up your day and free up your kiddos day you know so things can run a lot smoothly just make sure you have the necessary time and a dedicated time to complete your child's homeschooling needs you want them to be able to succeed now if your child have something that they may have to go back on and may have to go back on and learn that's what homeschooling is for um when it comes to me and my kiddos or especially me and my daughter we learn things that has something to do with her grade level, which is fourth grade. We go back if she don't understand some things. And if we seem like we're just, you know, learning the same thing over and over, we go up a grade to fifth grade. So it's at a certain time where everything is almost the same. And so, yeah, you just want to take the necessary time needed. You don't want to pressure them. You don't want to put pressure on yourself. So don't make unnecessary excuses if they are not needed.